I was gonna see if I can get your phone number. Sure. Okay. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am dressed like an absolute dirty hippie and this smells really bad. So I'm gonna take it off as soon as I finish this video, but welcome back to the channel. For those that don't know, this is a channel where I help young men improve their social skills, confidence, charisma, and the ability to approach and talk to strangers, particularly girls that they're interested in. And I do that by breaking down videos of me doing the exact same thing. I also do funny stories, advice videos, and much more. But for now, let's jump into today's video. Oh, change the course, Fred shirt. Hey. Hi. Um, what's your name? I'm Cassie. Oh, I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. You too. What's going on? I'm just heading to the campus store. Oh, you're gonna get some textbooks? Yeah. Fuck, socks, eh? Yeah. Um, question. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so there's a lot we can talk about right off the jump with the body language here. This is really interesting. So I'm just going to rewind this a little bit and then show you what's going on. She starts walking from one direction. I'm walking the other direction. And we kind of do one of these. We like walk around each other. And then I start to move away. She starts to move away. But then I continue talking to her and she hooks back a little bit. Now, notice how when I start to walk back over, she starts to walk back over too. But... If we had kept slowly talking and spreading further and further apart, we would have both gone on our ways. I also want to note my body language here, guys. It's nice and open and relaxed. You might even think it looks ridiculous the way I'm standing. That's for two reasons. One, this hoodie is way too small. And two, years ago, somebody told me that they hated it when I stood like this. So from that point on, I have purposely stood like this just to troll that one guy in the comment section. What are your thoughts on milkshakes? On milkshakes? Yeah. I don't know. Wow. Why did I say it like that? I have no idea. What are your thoughts on milkshakes? Super unnecessary, but I built the interest a little bit. It's like when a comedian will say a premise and they'll keep leading up to that punchline until boom, they hit you with it. Or when you're telling a ghost story, okay, and you want to spook the person at the end. I did the same thing, but I did a bait and switch. Instead of saying something super controversial, I said something so simple that it's actually kind of silly. Milkshake. I don't know. You don't know what you think about milkshakes? Um, I like milkshakes. What flavor is your favorite? Chocolate. I'm a vanilla guy. Uh, um, besides that though, you seem pretty nice. I don't know. <laughs> wow, okay, so once again, guys, this is really weird the way I'm talking to this person, but a lot of what's working is my tonality and delivery here. I'm being very compelling. Some would say I'm a little bit boring here, but this girl's very curious. Sometimes people talk way too much, okay? They just start blurbing out their mouth, and most girls are absolutely repulsed by that. So what I'm doing here is I'm leaving all these big spaces to have her fill them in. And this is something that most people don't do when they talk to girls. They think that they need to say a bunch of stuff, completely explain themselves, overanalyze how they're acting, and almost come in apologizing when they talk to a girl. What I'm doing here is I'm being very standoffish. I'm a vanilla guy. Uh, um, besides that, though, you seem pretty nice. I don't know. I'm Jack. You've been talking for five seconds. Oh, yeah, what, what, what was your name again? Emily? Cassie. Cassie. Um, Close. Oof, this was a long day, guys. I fucking talked to probably 50 people before her, so I already forgot the name. Fuck. And she even calls me out on it. She's like, nice. We've only been talking for five seconds. So this girl's a real one. This is a good conversation. She's catching me on my shit. But when you start to get caught on your shit, it kind of makes you wake up. Makes you snap up like, oh, okay, I'm awake now. So let's see how I steer this. What was your name again? Emily? Cassie. Cassie. Um, Close. I'm Jack. What's your name? My name is Emily. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I just, I was wearing the same color shirt as you. And you looked cute. So I was like, why don't I go humiliate myself by like, <laughs> saying hi to this stranger? Um, ooh, that was smooth, guys. So I addressed the elephant in the room, which is me being awkward, humiliating myself in the eyes of her by acting really awkward and smiling, and this made her smile and laugh too because girls understand that it is a lot of pressure for guys to go up to them and hit on them, especially when they seem nervous and anxious. There's two things that this can do. One, girls know you're kind of awkward and they help you get through the conversation, okay? Because they understand it's hard for guys 
to hit on girls. Two, they are totally turned off, totally repulsed, and they get the fuck out of there. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I'm looking for like, back to school girlfriend. Really? No, not really, I'm just fucking with you. But <laughs> I was gonna see if I can get your phone number. Yeah, that wasn't working, but look at how I switched there, guys. I'm like, no, I'm just kidding. Back to school girlfriend. Really? No, not really, I'm just fucking with you. But <laughs> I was- That's good, I was able to adjust on the fly. I was gonna go with this looking for a girlfriend thing, but I could tell that she was not into that. So I was like, oh no, I'm just making a joke. And she was receptive to that. She smiled and laughed back at my joke. So, so this is a good example of how you can be awkward or acting in a very standoffish way, but then bring it back with humor and make it fun again. No, not really, I'm just fucking with you. But I was gonna see if I can get your phone number. Sure. Okay. Look at that, beautiful. Gave the phone number. Now, what you could see there was I came in awkward, a little bit standoffish, was clearly exhausted from talking to people all day that day. Just like you guys will be when it's like six o'clock and you're taking the public transport back from work and you wanna go talk to somebody, you're gonna be exhausted, so you're gonna say dumb stuff like I do. That's totally normal. But she actually did me a favor there. She kind of started reacting in a way where she made me snap out of it. Whatever I'm saying is coming out not so good right now. I need to switch what I'm saying. I need to be fun, lighthearted, and relaxed. So I started making jokes and I made fun of myself and it worked because it made the conversation much more relaxed and fun again. <laughs> cool, okay, um, milkshake sometime maybe? Yeah, sure. They don't have them on campus, but I have a blender, so. Perfect. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Exactly. Yeah. Wow, that was great guys. So notice how I brought everything back full circle. I said, hey, do you want to get a milkshake sometime? Now that's a talking point. Another thing too, as I said that, I realized, wait, you can't even get milkshakes around here, but that's okay. I have a blender. I didn't intentionally plan this, but there's a great takeaway here. Now, instead of just going and getting a milkshake, we're going to make a milkshake. So that means we can go to the store. We can get bananas. We can get yogurt. We can get milk. It's a fun little adventure as a prerequisite to us actually making milkshakes. Another example of this is instead of going out to get pizza, you can be like, hey, let's make a pizza. Then you get to go to the grocery store, pick out all the toppings you want, you get to make dough together, you get to watch a video, you get some bowls with some tomato sauce in there and you spill it everywhere and you kind of laugh at each other. And then once you have that pizza you built together, it tastes so much better, okay? So think outside the box because there's always ways that you can make pretty mundane, boring activities much more fun and also multi-dimensional. Instead of now just going to one place and getting a milkshake, we gotta make a milkshake first. And that's a memorable date. Anyways guys, I hope you were able to pick up a lot of information from this video. If you're interested in seeing me break down these videos where I talk to people and help you step by step in how to interact with people, build your social confidence and so much more, go to my website, www.denmosocial.com. I have a whole five hour course that teaches young men like you how to be socially confident, how to go and talk to strangers, and how to get girls phone numbers, go on dates, meet guys, build strong social circles, and improve your lifestyle so that you're more social. Because the world is so much easier for you and your career, your success, your dating life, your friend circles, everything, if you have the ability to be social. You will stand out in times where people are just on their phones all day, and they don't know how to actually talk to people in real life especially strangers. It's easy to talk to people that are in the same class as you or that work with you, but going up to somebody you don't know with a high probability that they're gonna walk by you or even worse, reject you, that's hard to do. That takes courage and girls are attracted to that. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you share it with a friend, drop a comment below, hit the like button. I will see you guys next week. Peace out.